O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, who mourns in lonely exile here, until the word of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, will come to thee, O Israel. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, December the 23rd, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 8, and Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 20. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. <clears throat> And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Psalm 8. O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and sucklings, you have ordained strength that you might still the enemy and the avenger when i consider your heavens the work of your hands the moon and the stars which you have ordained what are we that you are mindful of us the children of the earth that you visit them for you have made us little less than the angels and have crowned us with glory and honor you have made us to have dominion over the works of your hands you have put all things under our feet, all sheep and oxen and beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 6, beginning at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God <clears throat> so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day, and having done everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As your shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. 
To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. And pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I might declare it boldly as I must speak. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O sovereign God, we praise you and give you the glory due your excellent name. Keep us ever mindful of your heavens and the work of your hands. Make us faithful stewards of your most glorious creation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.